Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will try to see about the template refs. So, what is this template refs? So, in this composition API, we are learning about this composition API, right? So, in this composition API, we will learn about the topic template refs. Template refs means in the options API, we have already seen uh, dollar refs. So, we, we have seen this ref is equal to root like this, right? So, we have already seen that. So, how to access this ref? In the options API, we have accessed using this dot dollar refs. So we as we have in the router, just like the router, this dot dollar router or this dot dollar store. Same thing like with for ref for accessing the refs or ref element also, we have the this dot dollar refs. This dot dollar refs dot this name dot root. So we'll be getting that element of that particular element. So in the same in the composition element com composition API also, if you want to get the element, if you want to get that element, so using the ref, how we can how we can get that one, we'll try to see. Here we have seen the concept of reactive ref and the template ref. So these two things are, uh, they are they both are combined actually. So in this composition API, let's try to see how we can differentiate these both the things. The composition API, we let's try to see. Now here we go in this one. Now let's try to add one div. Okay, in this div I am adding one input element. Input type is equal to text. Okay, so now here I am adding the ref that is nothing but the age ref. Let's say. So whatever that uh, age I am writing here, so it will be changing this. Okay. Now I will be adding here one button. Button. Okay. And here I will be writing change age. So this is the button. Now if I try to see the output here, this output if I try, if here you will be getting able to see that the input text box and this is the age. So if I click here, the age should be changed from 122 to some some other number. So whatever the age we are giving here. Okay, whatever the age we are giving here should be updated in both the both the places here and here also it should be let's try to see how we can do normal process what we can do is we can add the vifn more vifn model here and we can write the ref element here and we can update but we will try to see using the ref <coughs> here in the setup now we need to create same name what we are using the age ref here what is the name we are using for the ref element we need to create a uh, we need to create the name age ref equal to ref of null okay so we need to add this combination okay and we need to return this age ref so this automatically what will happen is the name it will be linked to this one okay so like this it will be linked so the name will be uh, the the variable whatever the variable you are returning here same name so the, the name should be e okay? the name should be important okay now here what i will try to do at the rate click dot prevent and I will change age. I will write change age. This is the method. Now here what I will try to do. Here I will try to create function change age. Now I need to get the element through the I mean to get the I I, I need to get the value with, through the ref of this input box element. So how can I get is here I can write so for example see console.log what we have age ref right so age ref I am writing the age ref here. Let's try to print the age ref. Now we need to return this change age here so that this change age will be reflected here. So whatever the you need to remember blindly that in the composition API, whatever the methods or variables you are using here in the template, you need to return it here. Okay, change age, change age we have written. Let's try to see the output. Now here it is telling that ref is not defined. We need to define the ref here. I can go and I can write here ref. We can automatically import from the view. And if I go here and if I try to write inspect element and if I refresh this one, now we got the data. Okay, here I am writing something 1, 2. I have written here. I click on change age. So here you are able to see that you are getting now here you are getting the value. So that means we already know that in the ref where we will be having the value, and in that value, we are having that elements we are able to see. So that means whenever we, we have already discussed in the composition API, when you are using the ref, ref means so in order to get the data, you need to call using this dot value or otherwise in order to set the data also, we need to set using some like this we need to set. Okay. So we need to blindly remember this one. So in the logic, if you are changing the ref value means getting the value means age ref dot value you need to do. And in the template, you can directly use this age ref. Now here. So how can I get? So here, if I write age dot value means now if if you try to see the output here, if I try to refresh this one. Okay, now uh, if I try to refresh and if I click on change age, now you are able to get the 
output type is equal to text now if i want to get the value of that one what i need to do i need to write dot value okay now if i refresh this one again i think you are able to get my point so here one two if i write here see i got the value now what i can do blindly what i can do is user dot age as this one is also a reactive user dot age why why it is a reactive is here i have user the reactive user dot age is equal to age ref dot value dot value we need to use okay now if you refresh this page okay now let's close this inspect element and if you refresh this page and if you write something 23 here automatically it is changed see if i click here modified lila everything is changed okay so this is how we will be accessing that template refs okay so this is the template ref concept this is the template refs concept how we can uh, how we can access the html element into the to the uh, javascript logic using the composition api why because we have two refs here one first one ref is it is a reactiveness so for the reactiveness we are using another ref is the template element so you will be confusing so that is the reason i explained you this concept template refs so here if you want to know more about this composition api and all those things here you will be having all the concepts about the reactive about the ref about the computed about the read only i didn't explain you this read only you will be able to understand this read only why is this read -only? about the watch life cycle looks we will be able to learn template refs and these are the two ref two refs we have already learned about this these are all things you will be able to learn so i can't explain you each and everything so major topics what are the in what are the things involved in the composition api i'll explain you so if you want to learn more about this one so you can go to the view composition api you can learn the more topics okay have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you